But, but that's, what are we saying? But no body thoughts, you know? It's like your mind gets lifted up into the celestial realm of joy and glee and abstraction, which is its natural state, and, and there are no people thoughts up there. You're not up there, oh, I'm in total bliss, but I wonder if Aunt Jane's okay. No, there's no Aunt Jane thoughts in heaven, or Uncle Fred thoughts. You know, there's just, there's no good thoughts, bad thoughts, good body thoughts, bad body thoughts, thoughts about shapes and sizes and parts and all these things. It's just, the, that's the realm of the ego. And it's also the realm of preferences. And when your mind, since perception is selective, when you align with the Spirit, you're literally selecting the miracle. You're selecting the Holy Spirit's interpretation, the Holy Spirit's perception of the world, and that is not interested in specifics. The Holy Spirit can use the specifics to take you beyond the specifics, but the Holy Spirit has no interest in effects. He has judged, he's overlooked their cause, he's overlooked the ego, so he's overlooked all the effects as well. It looks not to effects, you know, because he's overlooked the cause. What a beautiful line, you know, about where this is all heading. If the Holy Spirit looks not to effects because he's already overlooked the cause, then that means if you give your mind over to the Holy Spirit, you will look not to effects either, because you will overlook the cause. The ego cause that made up all the unreal effects. If the cause is unreal and the effects are unreal, why do you have to give your mind over to them in the first place? You know, why, why not just forget them? In the end, have a good amnesia about the ego and the ego's unreal effects. Reverse amnesia. You're going to remember God and forget the world. You see, the first, the flip side was forget God and make familiar something that God knows not. You know, that's, that's the original amnesia. This is the reverse amnesia. This is what the healing's about. It's reverse amnesia. Turning the tables on the ego, see. Uh-huh, you think you got me? I'll forget you. Not ignore. <laughs> Not push down in awareness and ignore, but I will expose you and I will forget you. And and that actually works, you know, it's, it's, it's more natural for your mind now to expose and forget the ego than it is to try to retain the ego in awareness. Yeah, that's the proper use of memory. So you're not losing your mind when you start to forget specific things. <laughs>